play Old McDonald's Switcheroo. We're playing Old McDonald's Switcheroo. Here's how you play. You need a bowl full of picture cards. You can draw pictures or cut them out for magazines or even use stickers. The pictures can be anything, like a wild animal or food or something you play with. Just tape or glue the picture onto a card and then put the cards into a bowl. Let me pick one out. <laughs> I got a bowl. Now we need to think of a sound that a bowl makes and replace it from an animal for Old McDonald's. Bounce. I like yeah. that. Old McDonald's had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a ball, E-I-E-I-O. With a bounce, bounce here and a bounce, bounce there. There are bounce, 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 bounce. Old McDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Your right. turn, Gisela. Oh. Okay. A robot. A robot? With the eh, eh, oh, here, the, mm, mm, there, and a mm, mm, there. Oh, I like here, that. Mm, every once. <laughs> Old McDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm, he had a robot, E-I-E-I-O. With the mm, 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 here, and a mm, 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 there. Here, mm, mm, here, and mm, mm, everywhere, boom, mm, boom. Mm, Old McDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. My turn. <laughs> I got a door. A door? A door. What about a slam? slam? What about with an E here and an E there? <laughs> now slam. Yeah. E, e, e. Okay. okay. Old okay. McDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. And that? on that farm he had a door. E-I-E-I-O. With an E there and an E there. Here your E, 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 everywhere. E, E, Old McDonald's had a farm. E, I, E, I, O. And that's how you play Old McDonald's Switcheroo. Yumbo Goose, how to wrap a nursery rhyme. We're wrapping nursery rhymes. We're going to tell you how to do it so you can play too. Yumbo Goose, give me a beat. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall, and all the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Yeah! That was awesome! Thank you. Now we're going to show you how to play. First, you need nursery rhymes. And then you need a beat. I just flipped over this bowl. Just a nice and steady beat to go with the rhythm. I have two forks, and I'm adding a little more rhythm. After that, you just wrap your nursery rhyme to the beat. First, I'm getting a nursery rhyme. Which one did you get? I got Little Miss Muffet. Cool. Okay. Yo, Mo Goose, give me your beat. <laughs> Little Miss Muffet sat in a tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider who sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. Woo! <laughs> Got one. Which one did you get? It's a surprise. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's do it. Yo, Mo Goose, give me a beat. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown, and Jill came tumbling after. Yeah, Woo! that was awesome. Thank you. Mo Goose, yo Mo Goose, Mo Goose, yo Mo Goose, Mo Goose, yo Mo Goose, Mo Goose. How to make wooden spoon puppets? No Rapunzel, lift down your hair. No way, I'm busy making puppets. We made wooden spoon puppets. And we'll show you how to make one so you can play too. First you need a wooden spoon. Once you have your spoon, you decorate it. You need to draw on the face. You can also use googly eyes if you'd like. You can draw on eyes, a nose, and a mouth. I'm using glue to glue on googly eyes. Very important. Don't get a spoon from your kitchen unless you ask an adult if it's okay. 
You can use anything you have around the house, like newspaper or fabric. Now I'm gonna add some hair, but I'm gonna cut it first. I wanna make a golden tie for my guy. You can make animal puppets, fairy tale puppets. You can make a family of spins. I'm making my yellow shirt. It might be a little tricky to color around the spoon, but that's okay. It will still look good. Almost done. Voila, my done puppet. I want his name to be, let's see, Daniel. My puppet's name is Amanda, and she's a princess that lives in the castle. If you don't have a wooden spoon, you can use a plastic spoon like this. These are the puppets we made today. We also made these, and today we are going to show a puppet show for you. Presenting Little Red Riding Hood. Bye, Mom. Oh, here I go into the woods. Well, hello there. Ah! Mother said not to talk to strangers, and you are very scary. Do not be scared. Well, I'm going to my grandmother's house, so I better hurry. Bye! Ah! I gotta get there first. <laughs> oh my, that was such an adventure. Wow, Grandma! What big eyes you have. All the better to see you, my dear. Oh, Grandma, what big ears you have. All the better to hear you, my dear. Oh, Grandma, what big nose you have. All the better to smell you, my dear. Oh, Grandma, what big mouth you have. All the better to eat you, my dear. Ah! Wait a second, no way. You're not eating me. If you're hungry, you can eat some of my cookies. Here you go. Thank you. Nom, nom, nom. The end. Monster House Party! Monster House Party! Let's make a monster house. We need a house for our amazing monsters. Here's what you need to make your monster house and pool. Cardboard container, glass beads, moss, craft sticks, tissue paper, stickers, tissue box, and glue. Container. Pick a container big enough to fit your monster house and room for a garden. Add grass and dirt. Tissue box house. Let's tilt the box so it looks like this. It will be perfect for a door. Now we need to see how many sticks it needs. One, two, three, four, five, six sticks. A sticker pool. Add a diving board. Glass beads for a path. Who lives in our monster house? The pink guy, three-eyed monster -oo. There he is. He's the old monster. He's very grumpy. Very grumpy. Let's have a monster pool party. You wanna come to our pool party? Sure, I'd love to come. And cannonball. And cannonball. Splash. It's raining, let's go inside. your doll's face. You can make your face however you want. 
I put on two eyes, a nose, and a smiley face. The next step is to make your skirt. We're using lots of leaves and flowers and petals. You can get these in your backyard or at a garden shop. Ask an adult to cut two holes through the middle of the flower so that these two ends of the doll pin can fit. And then you just slide it on. It's a skirt made out of flower petals. Then you're going to take a marker and you're going to color your top. But I'm going to color my body orange. I'm making dots on mine. Beautiful. My body is done. And my body is done too. The next thing we're going to do is add fairy wings. We're using two fake leaves, but you can use real leaves if you want. To stick them on, use tape. I'm going to stick the wings on the back of my fairy. To do that, I'm folding tape in half so it will stick onto the leaves and to my fairy. Done! Now I'm going to decorate my fairy. You can actually use anything you want to decorate. You can put on ribbons, you can put on tissue paper, you can put on fabric. Once you're done decorating, you're ready to play. Whee! I wish I had someone to go to the flower festival with me. Bounce, 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 bounce. Oh. Hi, what's your name? I'm Lily the Bouncy Fairy. My name's Veronica. Hi, Veronica. Are you going to the flower festival today? Sure. Let's go. Train World. Let's make a world for our trains. You only need three things to make a train world. Paper, markers, and scissors. All aboard! This is the express train making stops in Crazy Volcano, Crazy Park, and Crazy Town. First we draw all the parts of the world. Now draw a tree. Crazy volcano. Hot lava. Hot, hot. Now we cut it all out. Leave a bit on the bottom to fold over. Now I'm folding over the bottom. Tuck it under the train track. They stand up by themselves. All aboard! I want to go to Crazy Park. Watch out for the volcano. Let's, Let's make, make a, a different, different train, train world tomorrow. tomorrow. Make a small city for our action figures. Pow, whoosh, pow, whoosh, bang. The things you need to build a hero city are tissue boxes, construction paper, markers, and tape. Tissue boxes. The tissue boxes will be our buildings. Construction paper. Draw the buildings on the construction paper. Hmm, what should we draw? I'm making an ice cream parlor. I'm drawing a school. I'm making a tape loop. To make a tape loop, you have to take the unsticky part and put it on the sticky part. Ta-da! Assemble the building. Take the construction paper on the tissue box. Press the paper onto the tissue box. Let's draw all our different buildings. Skyscraper, fire station, bank, an apartment building, post office, P 
pizza parlor. Now you have your buildings. <laughs> Hero City, here we come. Time to play. Someone's eating all the ice cream. Help! Pow! Whoosh! Pow! We'll save all the ice cream in Hero City. Yes, we saved the ice cream. It's time to sneak into the bank. No one's Not so fast! <laughs> oh no, the villain. We have to protect everyone. I'm on a mission. Let's go. Bing, bing, wee, bing, bing, wee, bing, bing, wee. Let's hop in the car. Let's go. Up, up, and away. Pow, bang, crash, bam. Here we go. Time to fly. Hero City. Hero City is safe again. Until tomorrow. <laughs> How to make a fire-breathing dragon. This is my fire-breathing dragon. I named him Flame. Let me show you how to make one so you can play too. The first step into making a fire breathing dragon is to get an empty toilet paper roll. After you've gotten that, you get some construction paper and you wrap it around like this, any color you want. And then you get a little tape and tape it. Then add the flames. You get some ribbons of your choice and you tape them to the inside of your dragon. Here's a tip. If you want your dragon to blow out more fire, stick more to the top than to the bottom. You can use anything you want, including ribbons, yarn, other types of streamers. Put them in any way you want. You can put some in the bottom, put some on the top. You can change the color, you can cut some paper out, you can really do anything you want with this dragon. I'm going to put different colors of streamers in and make it look cool. <laughs> After this, you can decorate it any way you want. Here are some I made earlier. You can add glitter or any kind of decoration. Then you can add a face. I'm gonna put some pom-poms that are blue and green. I'm gonna put some googly eyes on them. Remember, you can do anything you want with this. You can attach them with glue, which is probably better for the pom-poms. Sometimes it's easier to put the glue on the toilet paper roll than putting the glue on the pom-poms. Then you need to add two little things for his nose. You can use beads, coffee beans, smaller pom-poms, or buttons, or whatever you want. And I'm gonna put some glue on the bead first. Wait for the glue to dry. And that's how you make your fire-breathing dragon. Dragon, dragon, I want your jewels. No way, mister! Go away! No, no, no! Well, well then, can you at least touch my marshmallow? Sure, if that's what you want. Thank you. Yummy, yummy. Would you like a bite? Sure. It's so yummy. Yes, it is. I love marshmallows, but I love my jewels more. But you can have the rest. Thank you. Rom, nom, nom, nom. 